everyone. Welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see top 20 OOPS interview questions, which are useful for system verilog interviews also on design verification. The first question is, what is OOPS? Object-oriented programming, that is named as OOPS, is a type of programming that is based on objects rather than just functions and procedures. Here, individual objects are grouped into classes. Which are the basic concepts of OOPS? The very basic concepts of OOPS are Object, Class, Inheritance, Polymorphism, Encapsulation and Data Abstraction. Then what is an object and what is a class? Object is an instance of a class. Class is a blueprint or we say template from which the objects are going to be created. Here you can see the example, car is a class. In that class, we can create objects like a car can be a Mercedes, BMW or Audi. This is the best example we can take to understand object and class. What is inheritance? Inheritance is a mechanism the object acquires all the properties and behaviors of the parent object. We know we can create an object from the parent class. That object is going to acquire all the properties of the parent object. Here we need to understand what is class, subclass or we call it as child class and superclass we call it as parent class. As I said, class is a group of objects which have common properties. It is a template or blueprint for which objects are created. What is subclass? We call it as child class. Subclass is a class which inherits the property of the parent class or we say it is a derived class which is extended from the parent class. What is superclass or parent class then? Superclass is a class from where a subclass inherits the features. It is also called as base class or a parent class. You can see here class subclass name extends superclass name. Here subclass name is the object which is created from the superclass. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism is one of the core concept of OOPS and it describes the situations in which something occurs in several different forms. As the name itself says, poly means many and morph means forms. For example, you can take class shape and method draw. The same method draw can be used in a class circle, class rectangle and also in a class square. But drawing a circle and rectangle square differs. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation is a technique of hiding the data within the class and making it available only through the methods. It is called as encapsulation. Encapsulation also allows data hiding as the data specified in one class is hidden from other classes. What are virtual functions? Virtual functions are the functions that are present in the parent class and they are overridden by the subclass. These functions are used to achieve runtime polymorphism. What are pure virtual functions? Pure virtual functions are abstract functions or functions that are only declared in the base class. This means they do not contain any definition in the base class and need to be redefined in the subclass. What are access specifiers? Access specifiers allow the implementation of encapsulation. We have three types of access specifiers that is public, private and protected. Public get the accessibility from own class and it gets the accessibility from the derived class and also it can be accessible from the world. But if it is private, there is no accessibility given from the derived classes and also there is no accessibility to the outside world. And also protected will get the accessibility from the own class and also from the derived class but not from the external world. What is function overriding? Function overriding is a feature of OOPS where two or more functions can have the same name but different parameters. 
when a function name is overloaded with different jobs it is called function overloading means function overloading can be considered as an example of polymorphism it can be done in base class as well as derived class then what is function overriding function overriding is again a feature of hoops where function in derived class can have same name but different definition when it redefines a function of a base class in derived class with the same signature that is name return type and parameter but with a different definition it is called function overriding it can be done only in derived class in the previous question in the function overloading it can be done in derived class and the base class but function overriding can be done only in derived class function overriding can be considered as an example of polymorphism again what is static polymorphism and what is dynamic polymorphism static polymorphism is a kind of polymorphism that occurs at compile time an example of compile time polymorphism is method overloading dynamic polymorphism is a type of polymorphism which is resolved during run time it is an example of run time polymorphism is method overriding what is an exception exception is a kind of notification that interrupts the normal execution of a program exceptions provide a pattern to the error and transfer the error to the exception handler to resolve it the state of the program is saved as soon as the exception is raised what is exception handling exception handling in oops is a very important concept that used to manage errors an exception handler allows errors to be thrown and caught and implements a centralized mechanism to resolve them what is try catch why it is used try catch block is used to handle the exceptions the try block defines a set of statements that may lead to an error the catch block basically catches the exception what is an obstruct class obstruct class is a class that contains obstruct methods these methods are basically declared but not defined if these methods are to be used in some subclass they need to be exclusively defined in the subclass what is the default access specifier in class it is private what is early binding and late binding early binding refers to the assignment of values to variables during design time but late binding refers to the assignment of values during run time which oops concept is used as a reuse mechanism that is inheritance these are the top 20 oops related questions which are repeatedly asked in the interviews thank you